everyone welcome to another tutorial on java beginner series now in the last video we have seen what are wrapper classes we have also taken a look at the hierarchy of classes that is number character and boolean in this video we'll quickly focus on few of the methods that are offered to us by character class so without further ado let me quickly take you to eclipse and run through some functions for you to understand the concept a little more better so let's write a system dot outline and inside this let's say we have character dot let's take the first function is letter now this will tell us whether the parameter inside is a letter or not so let's give a number now this should give us the output as false because the value that we have given is not a letter right so save and run and you get false if you switch it to a character that is let's say v save again run you get true fine similarly we have is digit to check whether the character you have passed is a digit or not now if you give some number that is 8 it will return you output as true also we have another function that checks if the case of the letter given is uppercase or lowercase so uppercase let's say we give g and the output is true it's uppercase similarly we have is lowercase to check whether the case of the letter given is lowercase also we have an another interesting function that is character dot to string now what this does is any character that you give inside this it will convert it to a string so save and run and of course you'll see the same output as it is there but now this is converted to a string so in your program whenever you need a string but you have a character you can use the to string function and also you can experiment with the rest of the functions all you have to do is say character dot and you get this whole list of functions that you can try out right for digit get name get type all these functions you can one by one take a look at you get the whole detail of what the function does explaining that same right so let's say for example we have two lowercase right so you see that it gives you a whole description what the function does it converts the character argument to lowercase using case mapping information from the unicode data file so this is enough for you to teach all the functions that are there in the character class just go ahead and keep experimenting with the other functions so that was it for character class guys i would again recommend you to go ahead and practice on your own as you see when you hit the dot you get to see all the options all the functions that are available in the class so go ahead experiment with everyone read around what a particular function does to get a better understanding of all the functions that are available in the class i'll see you in the next video on one more class that is very essential and helpful while programming don't forget to subscribe because there are many more interesting videos coming up on the channel hit the bell icon on the page so that you keep getting updates on what is coming up next on the channel and don't miss out on anything until next time guys happy coding